Right. They don't have to. But what they're asking to be done is conform and it's not non conform. If they got the zone to change. If you got the zone to change. That's right. Yes, sir. I've been sitting here trying to look at this thing and take the person that the department were already there and I'm looking for a place to live. And I come down to Lake Park and I see this beautiful residential area with three beautiful lakes and a parking complex right in the middle of it. That's going to look real enticing to me. So, yeah, you know, this is where I like to, you know, I like to live here. This is a nice, developed neighborhood. To build out and everything, this is the place I would like to go. But is it not true that the reason y'all have chosen that site is because we have invested our life saving clear and we have built our home? And you're going to use, you're trying to use us as prey to draw you some bait in and the line your pocket for the river. I mean, is it not true that that's the only reason that it's having that location is where you're going to put it? Because that's going to be most advantageous for you and for the occupancy of those buildings. You know, just consider, as I said one time before, the golden rule. You know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And, you know, us as residential residents there, with lots and lots of money invested, I mean, you know, that's not what we want for our neighbors. And listen, nobody is for more better housing for the more and the lower rent payment than I am. I mean, I, I help people with some people. That's one of, the, one of my life goals. I, mean, I want them people to have a nice place to live. I hope you can build in the park somewhere. I just hope you won't be there because don't, you know, don't take us hostage and don't use us to accomplish what your old motive is, which is you know, making money. Please just consider some other location. There's plenty of land. I have to lean on the property right down the street here from Lake Park. It's right adjacent to the city hall. It's right adjacent to the uh, city limits. He said he'd be glad to say y'all uh, 12 acres of land right there, not even, not even a mile from where we're sitting. And I mean, there's, there's property in several directions that's available for you. So all we're asking is just consider human beings and look at our side of you instead of the dollar side of you. I mean, we're just, you know, we're just, the people here that we're innocent. We've got nothing to do with this. Y'all the ones that make all the decisions, and y'all the ones that control the power. Just consider your power and use it for a strength. Use it for the betterment of our citizens instead of, you know, trying to tear them down. Are you referring to Belleville rules in that way? Well, to answer your question is that um, the location, whether it's affordable or not, or just a multi-family project that charge regular rents. I'm assuming from the audience it wouldn't make any difference as to what your your observations would be. And I'm also assuming the fact that this other development is on the other side of the lake you feel the same way about what's could transpire there. Uh, but the um, point that you've made is one that yes you're a homeowner. Yes, sure, your house is, is a treasure. Um, I don't disagree with the fact that that's what you work for, that's what you want. You have different opinions. Um, however, you know, the developer is not out here. The developer's here to make money. The developer's taking great risks in order to make money. Um, not lining their pockets with gold with, with those that are, that are disproportionate. The site is an attractive site. Um, it's one in which um, elderly could feel comfortable living, not out on you know, somewhere else. There's water and there's sewer to the site. All of the amenities that are necessary in order to do the development are there. Now, whether or not it gets developed, it's one thing is, is that the zoning either takes place or it doesn't take place. Even if it takes place, it's still a competitive environment and may or may not get funded. I mean, even point that um, if it were to be rezoned, we certainly would agree to a condition that if the deal never went through and the project didn't be developed, that the zoning would sort of revert back. But sir, I just I understand completely what you're saying. Um, and I have spoken to many people 
like years, and I, you know, I can't argue. I can't argue about how you feel. I can't argue about you know what you want. I mean, but still, um, this this whole program is there to make you know, safe, very good housing for those who have not been able to support it. Now, what, I don't know, you know if you have a trailer population here that would help that. All the substandard housing is there to make a difference for that. And there, there are probably property owners of substandard housing that probably that will say, we don't want this because it will be a meeting with that. Yes, ma'am. 